Hey guys, welcome back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I really hope you're enjoying season five so far. It has been awesome. I'm so excited to watch this next episode, so let's go. Gotta love the old Sunnydale Cemetery. Ooh, she's on the prowl, on the hunt. Oh! Hey, Riley. Riley! What are you doing here? My job. <gasps> watch out! <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh. You know, why do I have a feeling that Buffy's not going to like him taking the kills? Spike, what are you doing here? <laughs> Same reason as you and your Cub Scout here, I wager. Just having fun. I a spot of violence before bedtime. Oh. <laughs> what? I softened him up. <laughs> Better keep out of my way, Spike. And I shall do what with my spare time? Sit at home, knitting cunning sweater sets? Would it keep you out of my way? You shouldn't be out here when she's patrolling. Huh. Oh, I saw that. Looks like neither boy's entirely welcome. I just saw you taste your own nose blood. <laughs> I'm too grossed out to hear anything you have to say. Go home. <laughs> it's blood. It's what I do. <laughs> so true, though. <laughs> You threw that vampire like he was a teeny weeny little vampire. Hey, you want to go again? Nah, uh, unless you want to go back and kill Spike for the fun of it. I will know your blood, Slayer. <gasps> I will make your neck my chalice. Oh. And drink deep. <laughs> Idiot. I like Spike. I still like Spike, but I don't like it when he threatens Buffy like that because it does actually make me worry. It makes me nervous. I just want everyone to get along. I'm for peace and love. <laughs> it seems the plans work perfectly. I must say, I'm very impressed. Wow. Are you to come on in? Thank you, kind proprietor. Oh, wow, this place looks great. I just keep thinking how cool it would be if we got a real psychic to sit up here and read fortunes <gasps> and stuff. Yes. You should do it. <gasps> but but I'd love to, to watch and, and learn from someone who's really good, you know? <gasps> You're really good. Yes, she is. Here, do me. I love Tara so much. What do you see? Willow hand. <laughs> so beautiful. <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, it's Riley. Riley. Just keeping you on your toes. Oh my god. Look at this place. Wow. Wow. But thank you so much. It's all great. Oh, you've ended. Thank you guys so much. Oh, AC, you blind idiot. Is he still watching that passions? Sure. <laughs> oh. Looky here. Is it safe? Has Buffy gotten to you yet? I saw her patrolling just now. With a stake, she won't give up until she's killed me to death. I'm totally her arch nemesis. I must have missed the memo. You're my only hope. I'm desperate. Desperate, are you? I'll do anything. Anything. Anything, <laughs> will you? Oh. <laughs> you mean will I have sex with you? Well, yeah. Is that Spike's cigarettes? He's not gonna like that. <laughs> Taking up smoking, are you? I am a villain, Spike. <laughs> I guess you are at that. What with the slayer on your tail and all. She'll hunt you down, day and night. And then, then, that is you. I guess you're gonna have to kill her. You do it. I've got this cute little government chip in my head. Guess it'll have to be me after all. Half an omelet coming up. Oh, um, with ketchup, if you please. What is the, who are you? <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> Who are you? Whatever Dawn's done, Joyce knows. Are you okay? I'm okay. And your mom's doing just fine. Well, she's doing okay now. The doctors don't really know what caused the collapse. I mean, it's not serious, right? I think it's so Dawn related. No. Oh, his heart is, his heart's pounding. Well, he's worried. I have never in all my years of medicine let a patient with tachycardia this severe leave a hospital. You said you couldn't keep me. And your friend here can't convince you to... I'm going. Oh, no. There's something wrong with him. What are you doing? What if you have a heart attack? My heart's different than yours, Buffy. It works differently now. How are you? She's all well, right. <laughs> embarrassed, mostly. I'm sorry to put you through this. 
Let's uh, get out of here. There's a lot going on in this episode. Honestly, I'm more concerned about no. Riley than I am about Meek. He's not worried, so I don't think we should be. Why isn't he worried? He is in really good shape. I, I just keep coming back to the initiative. I, I know I have to do something. I just don't know what. Another time the CIA... Don, it's important. Tried to make Castro go crazy by putting itching powder in his beard. How is that important? It's about the government. Call the initiative. If they know what's wrong with them, they have to help. Yeah, but call them how? It's like Big Brother can spy on you all the time, and, and the second I have something to say, no one will listen. If they're really spying on you all the time, just say something so you know they'll hear you. Riley? He's not home. Riley's in trouble. He needs help. <gasps> because someone was listening on the line. <laughs> oh, nice dunk. Graham? Riley? Can we talk? It's Agent Goodman, Agent Brown? <sighs> oh. What's going on, man? We gotta get this thing care of immediately. We gotta get you into an operating room. Makes me completely want to put myself under government control. <laughs> Please take me to where they can make me unconscious and naked. <laughs> I'm telling you, you need help. You sure you got the fix for it? We got a guy, a doctor. I don't trust it. I'm not giving you a choice. Oh! <laughs> I don't trust them either. And all it means is he's way stronger than he ought to be and feeling no pain. His heart can't take it. There's a specialist wedding at Sunnydale General, fourth floor neurology. Get Riley there. If you don't... I'll get him there. If you tell me to hurry, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> oh, is he in the caves? He's gotten somewhere where he doesn't want to be found. Tara and I can scope out the burnout school. Riley hid there once. Maybe he feels it's homey or something. You know what else he might find homey in a dang, unpleasant, evil sort of way? Caves. The initiative caves? Yeah. We do have an associate who knows those caves like the back of his melanin-deprived hand. <gasps> nice. Ah, uh, Spike. Like Plus, hanging out all day in that moldy crypt, you just know he's doing something nasty. Is it bigger than a bread box? No. <laughs> Four left. So it's smaller than a bread box? <laughs> no, only three. Is it a bread Is box? Is it a sodding bread box? <laughs> yes! Oh, my God! Someone's blonde bear is a 20-question genius. <laughs> She's found me. <laughs> Riley's sick with some initiative thing and he's missing. I think he might be in the caves. You find him, bring him to the fourth floor of the hospital. Their doctors get to him in time, you get the cash. Uh. Oh, tell me, is he gonna die? <laughs> I think I'll get half now. Oh. Oh. What'd she say about me? <laughs> oh, many. My goodness. You'll be here any minute. That's soon enough, right? I don't trust this. I'm not sure it's soon enough if you brought him in yesterday. Oh. Oh. You got yourself a new patient, Doc. Oh, for Spike's chip? And this is a complicated neurological procedure, and I've, I've never performed it before. Just do whatever those initiative lab monkeys did, only backwards. That chip is deeply embedded in your cerebral cortex. Removing it could leave you a vegetable. That's not going to happen, mate. I have faith in your survival instinct. Oh, yeah. my God. You load me up and kill him before the night's over. Come on, Doc. Do me right. Nothing bad will happen to you. Mm. Oops. String was slippy. <laughs> She's so funny. We should have brought a flashlight. Better to light a candle than curse the damn darkness. Fiat Lux. How'd you do that? You taught me. I taught you teeny Tinkerbell light. Okay, so I tinkered with the Tinkerbell. <laughs> it was easy. Isn't this better than using a flashlight like some kind of doofus? Riley? Oh, it's Buffy. Riley, answer me. <laughs> you know, this doesn't even hurt. Your hand is bleeding. I'm taking you to the doctor. The one from the government, you mean? Like the ones who did this to me in the first place? Riley, your body was not built for this kind of stress. I can handle it. Back off. What's happening to you? I go back. Let the government get whimsical with my innards again. Best case scenario, they turn me into Joe Normal. Just another guy. Mm, then what does he have to offer And Buffy? that's not enough for you? It's not enough for you. That's what he thinks. You're getting stronger every day. I can't touch you. Every day, you're just a little further out of my reach. You want to touch me? I'm right here. I'm not the one running away. Not yet. Nobody has ever known me the way you do. I've opened up to you in ways that I've never opened up to 
You're just sitting back there thinking that none of this means anything to me. I never said that. Because it obviously doesn't mean anything to you. Do you think that I spent the last year with you because you had superpowers? If that's what I wanted, then I'd be dating Spike. Riley, I need you. And I need you healthy. But if you want to throw it all away because you don't trust me, then and I'm still going to make you go to that doctor. Take me to him. Loving you is the scariest thing I've ever done, Bobby. I don't know why. The doctor said we didn't have much time. Oh, I've got a terrible thought. What if this doctor can't perform the operation and they kill him and then there's no, no hope for Riley? Can I touch it? No. no. Yeah. Oh my God, you're awake? Wow, Spikey. How does it feel? Like someone's cutting into my brain with a knife, you silly bint. You know what it means that he can't hurt any living thing? It means he can't even pick flowers. What? Yes, I can. Please be quiet. <laughs> Is it supposed to do that? Please. Oh my God. For God's sake, please be quiet. Graham. Graham. Yeah, how many fingers I got? Out? Seventeen. <laughs> Hustle 17 and a blanco. Oh. Spike and Harmony together again. What would Spike want with the chip? The chip. We don't find the medic soon. He's not going to make it. When I get my hands on Spike, I'm going to rip his head off. I'm going to bathe in the Slayer's blood. <laughs> I'm going to dive in it. The chip's out. It's out. Oh, yeah? my God. Spike's going to kill this doctor as a test. Stitch me up, Doc. Got places to go. And Slayer's to kill. No way, has it really worked? My stomach's growling, I'm so starved. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to have me <gasps> a little snack. <gasps> oh, don't worry. I won't fill up on the bread. I'll still have plenty of room for the main course. Oh, so lucky. Slayer! Suit up, home. I wanted to tell you the great news. My head's all clear now. It means I get to kill you. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Long last. <laughs> ah! It doesn't work. <laughs> Riley. Riley. Oh, my God. Penny. I told you I couldn't do it. Doctor, we need you now! <laughs> Everywhere I turn, she's there. That nasty little face. She <laughs> follows me, you know? Tracks me down. <laughs> I can't get rid of her. She's haunting me, Harmony. <laughs> this has got to end. <sighs> He's okay. Oh. Back to normal. Good. Yep. I'm still touchable. Give me a week or so to heal and take full advantage of that <laughs> fact. Are you gonna be okay? Because I should really go check on my mom. Yeah. I'll be fine. I hope they'll be okay. I have this funny feeling about them now. But you know you don't belong here, right? I mean, you're nothing here. Hey. What are you saying? Come on, man. You know it's true. There's nothing for you here. What? There's her. You used to have a mission, and now you're what? Mission's boyfriend? So? You belong with us. No. No. Yeah. It's not gonna... It's not gonna go well, is it? Should have known it's you. Been nearly six hours. Well, it would have been less if I wasn't busy cleaning up your mess. I just borrowed the dock. I'm done. <gasps> Spike, you're a killer. And I should have done this years ago. Do it. Bloody just do it. End my torment. Seeing you every day, everywhere I go, every time I turn around. Take me out of a world that has you in it. Just kill me. What? Confession, I watched, 
I watched that last bit of Spike and Buffy um, several times just then. I rewound and watched it several times because I'm sick and I need help. But also, like, when Spike wakes up in the bed, the um, he wakes up next to Harmony, right? But my goodness, she looks like Buffy. She looks just like Buffy next to him. I totally thought that that was real. I thought that that was real. It was a dream, obviously, but wow. <laughs> I, I, I'm not even mad that it was a dream. I, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Okay, that was really unexpected. I want to say that I found this whole episode unexpected. So much happened in this episode and it wasn't a monster of the week. It didn't have anything like that in it. It was just full on characters, full on story. And I appreciate that so much because I love these characters and getting to spend a whole episode with them and their story is just absolutely such a treat. I've got so many things that I want to say about this episode. I want to start with Buffy's mum, Joyce. I thought that when she had that episode in the kitchen and she saw Dawn, because I still think that Dawn it's not real. I, I feel that she has magicked her way into Buffy's life for some reason unknown yet. When Joyce saw her in the kitchen, she realized that she could like see through this spell or see through it on, and realize that Dawn's not meant to be there. So I feel that the spell was broken temporarily in that moment. So I, I'm still convinced that Dawn is there because of a spell that she's cast or something like that. But that was really crucial to then lead into the hospital scene with Dawn playing with the stethoscope and then listening to Riley's heartbeat. Um, I'm so glad that that got fixed up because I was really concerned that he would actually die. In that the fight at the end with Harmony, Spike, Buffy, Riley... I thought someone is not walking out of this room. Someone's going to die here. And of course, everyone got away again. But something else that is really concerning me is Buffy and Riley's relationship. We saw in the last episode that Riley said that Buffy doesn't love him. And I think those feelings are still there for him. They're, they've still carried on into this episode. I feel that he is very insecure. He spent a lot of time in his life um, being very strong, being important, being someone that can handle everything, like being in the initiative, doing all these cool things. And then Buffy's come along and she's so much cooler than him. She's so much stronger, so much capable that he is just sort of, that's all he really sees right, right now is Buffy's strength and capability compared to his. And his problem that he had was giving him this extra strength, which is what he thought that he needed for Buffy to still even be interested in him. And having that removed may also trigger him into then thinking that what does he have left to offer Buffy with him just being a normal guy now. She's been with Angel, who of course is not normal, but then has Buffy ever told him that she's been interested in other guys too? Like uh, Scott Hope, he was just a normal guy, but I don't even think that she's mentioned anyone like that to him. So all Riley really has to think about is Angel, and he's seen Angel, he knows what Angel is so he just thinks how can he compare with that i really find it interesting in this episode how buffy said to riley that if she wanted a superhero she would go and be with spike and then we had that buffy and spike thing at the end which was 
incredible, which was epic. I don't know. I I have liked their I don't know what to call it. I've liked their banter. I've liked the tension between them for some time now and seeing that even though it was a a dream. I really liked it. That was that was good. That was a good moment. Thoughts on where where we go from here. I am thinking that one day Riley's insecurity will get the better of him and maybe he'll even up and go without even saying goodbye to Buffy or he may say goodbye but he'll just leave. He'll go back um, to the government. I feel that Dawn is still here via magical means. Giles is doing really well in the magic shop. I'm happy for him. Spike and Buffy? I cannot really guess. I mean, if Riley does go, let's just say that Riley does go because he feels that he's not good enough for Buffy. That then, I guess, opens the door for Spike and Buffy. But oh my gosh, is that even something that I want? I don't know. I I really get a kick out of seeing them together and that's really fun and genuinely exciting for me. But I also don't think that Spike is the right one for Buffy. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just see what happens with that one. Um, I'll put it in a maybe basket but I'm not sure I'm not sure she's been with Angel for Buffy to get involved with Spike as well I don't know about that and Angel would not like that <laughs> it would just be crazy maybe Drusilla will turn up and get Spike back I don't know but this is going to be really exciting I'm looking forward to this absolutely Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.